giving up apparently. <laughs> never give up, never <laughs> surrender. Uh, you, we have very dedicated tank uh, tank drivers. We have dedicated, you know, we're you know adding adding a lot of boats to the game now. You know, ships and boats, so people will get very good at that as well. Um, and then on top of that, we're adding adding you know commander mode, which means oh, that you have it. a strategic layer on top of the whole game, uh, where people can actually uh, you know. Uh, take care of the full team and help them and give them assets and, and provide Alex support for them. You see the bollards are up here. Uh, uh, yeah, they come back. Here, the um, again, so you know, just there. looking at Hearing how we one. toggle between players, you can see that all of them are playing the game in a slightly different way, which, which yeah. is exactly what the game is designed to be. Yeah, I mean, as you cycle through the players, you sneak action. There was some helicopter pilots. There was a lot of infantry, which is what I like to do. I like to get down on the ground, ground pound, and and rush the objective, yeah. uh, you know, push the objective. That's what I'm all about. So, uh, and look at this here, actually. It's one player. He's uh, at the top of the uh, of the skyscraper here. Mm -hmm. And this is a cool thing, right? Because in the last uh, match we saw, this skyscraper did not last very long. Okay. It was taken down <laughs> oh. quite quickly. And that guy went, he went <laughs> jumping off the building. That's awesome. You can parachute. Um, so that adds another element of yes. just gameplay, you know, Oops, because did that elevated, right? Now it's elevated. It's not yeah. brought down. But when when it's brought down, though, then the sea territory becomes the sea flag becomes yes. a, a much different area. And, yeah. and now, when in I guess developing this game, the dice guys and all that, what was the theory behind the evolution? Like, why why do this? Why? Why change the map? Why 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 reinvent the wheel? I think it space? lies in the in the the nature of Battlefield that you, you you want the environment. You know, games tradition has been very static and very stale, yeah. and the gameplay has been kind of suffering from that because it's you can you can easily lock down a map if you know exactly what how it's going to play and what it's going to be about. But if you add l these layers, you know, the evolution layers with destruction and and different variables um, that that changes the map and changes the environment. Yeah, uh, players can actually use that in a in a very tactical way. So it's not only for you know drama and make the game look better. It's actually a, a, a very uh, tactical choice yeah. that you can that you can use it for. Um, it's not just to say, hey, look at the pretty particle effect. Yeah, it's to yeah. say. Hey, this is this is something that greatly impacts gameplay. Yeah. Changes up the the what people believe is a multiplayer shooter, yeah. and and I love that. He <laughs> jumps in the water, gun host that. I yeah. love that. We have some new. Speaking of water, we have some new cool um, you know water features. Uh, of course, the, the the whole swimming experience now much better with both uh, you know normal swimming, but also sprint swim. Uh, where you can s swim faster. You can also uh, dive, duck underwater, yeah. uh, and you can defend yourself because you use your sidearm while in water. So the water gameplay has improved quite a lot, actually. So yeah, that's, I love that's that. really cool. It, I think it's a really cool uh, element, uh, you know, to, to bring into the game. I even like the uh, vehicle uh, speed as well. Like you, you, yeah. you can drive and you can drive at normal speed, but you can also. Yeah. This time around, you had a. You seemed like you had a mission. And yes. that mission was speed the game up, make it enjoyable. Were those things, is that critical for you guys moving forward into, into growing the franchise? Yes, very much. We, as you can see, we changed the whole user interface, the whole spawn screen, the whole... In the whole yeah, um, so you gotta, have, uh, you gotta have that keen eye for, yeah. for destruction. And as you said, <laughs> the, you know, this flag has completely changed now. Don't shoot your friends. No. Oh, no. <laughs> so, oh, actually, no, they are, they are, they're green. Um, so oh, I that's believe... Oh, your, that's your uh, squad. Yeah, okay, okay. So I think, uh, but regardless of the fact, though, I mean, it, it seems as if, uh, you know, there's a lot of cool gadgets to play around with. Had a had a uh, good time actually messing around with the, um, with, with just like the customization, it's right? Cool. <laughs> and I, I think it's uh, it, it's kind of telling that you guys uh, added a lot of things to it, like the uh, candid, candid sky, uh, yes, candid counted sky, yeah. candid. I, I love that, right? Yeah. I've never really seen that in a game before. I saw it in the uh, in the single player. Didn't think it was going to make its way to multiplayer. You guys pleasantly surprised me with that one. Yeah, there's some there's some really cool features if you go you know deeper into the game. Uh, again, looking at the customization, there's a lot of things going on there with. You know, you can now select different knives, for instance. You can uh, uh, add more attachments to your guns, yeah. um, like canton scopes. You can have flip-up uh, optics, for instance, which is really, really cool. Yeah. Uh, we have the whole Chinese army, which adds a lot of variation to both the guns and the gadgets and, of course, the vehicles. You can see some really
that is in the game. This pilot right now, dealing with a lot of dust, a lot mm -hmm. of debris, visibility is not as uh, on point as it was prior. And, oh man, look at this here, gonna be nice. coming down to this tank right there. Nice Ooh. play by uh, Alpha 02, as he's gonna have to scale up on this one. But yeah, so I think that that is a pretty cool, uh, you know, mechanic, that evolution thing. It yep. really does change change the scope of, of the game itself and really, I guess, add variety. Oh, that oh, sucks. Down. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I, the other thing I want to ask you about is commander mode. Yes. Um, why, uh, why bring it back? Uh, I think it's, you know, we, we're at the time where we think that, you know, commander mode actually adds a lot of value to the players, not only the, the actual commanders that that play against each other, but also to yeah. everyone on the ground. So commanders are, you know, adding a layer of strategic value to the actual commanders, but also a layer of, you know, you know, epic action moments for yeah. the people on the ground. You know, you, you know, the, the 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 team needs to capture points to give the commander options. For instance, the, you know, you, you don't get all your options until you have captured all the control points. So the commander really needs. Just play on my yep. play on my tablet. So uh, I mean, how was how was the decision process in implementing that into the game? I mean, that surely must have been difficult. Yes, we have a tendency to do difficult things at I, I see that. <laughs> <laughs> it's we often talk about battlefield from a very high